Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. So, people have been asking me, um, what do I use? Knee pads? No knee pads? Or what do I use? So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to try this year. Um, I got knee pads last year for Christmas for my beautiful wife. Um, but let me show you these knee pads that she got me. These right here. Um, I forget these are Ulta's. They were on um, Amazon and they were 35, I think it was, 35.96. They're really nice, adjustable here with the retaining strap here. Um, adjust them for the fit. Then they go right over the little button. Nice thing about these kind of pads is, you know, you can wear them in. Um, you could also, after you shoot a deer and you're going to field dress, you know, kind of protecting your pants from the ground also. Um, so I'm going to get up here on the tree, up on the platform. We've got it out here at the beautiful park. Um, and show you how this works and then show you the pad. Uh, like I said, these I think were $35.98 through Amazon. They can go higher than that and lower than that. So let's get up here and see what we got. So we're going to hook in. We've got our flex on. Our comfortable flex. Oh, this thing is really nice. So here we are. You can see the knee pads. You don't have to worry about anything with those. And I've got my little steps on the side of the tree. This is how I plan on hunting this year. So I've got my predator platform here. Then on at, if you want to say the platform's at six, at three and nine, I have a double step squirrel step on both sides. So when you come around the tree, you're like this, you've got your side pressure, you can put your foot here, you're able to shoot really easily, get around the tree, come back to center, come on this side right here, which is kind of nice. Just bring your foot around, you can shoot off the back. Really nice. So using the knee pads. So knee pads are on, and then basically you got your bridge the way you want it, what's most comfortable for you. And then basically just coming into the tree. Very comfortable. Some guys will sit sideways. Now you don't have any pad because you've basically got your clothes right here. Coming back up. Knee pads right into the tree. Pretty nice. If you've got a skinny tree, a real small one, you may be only get one knee on there, which is no problem. You can just relax. So knee pads are a real great option. You definitely need something. Last year I tried it, so I didn't get the knee pads till after the season was done. Um, and um, sitting there with your pants on, you may be even bundled up, but you lean into that tree with just your knees. It's not too comfortable if you do that. So that's that option. So let's check the other option out. We're gonna unhook and come down. All right, guys, so my second option is going to be this pad that I made. Um, I got this nice thick pad, an AWP from Lowe's. This is a very dense, thick pad. How did I make this? Basically, cut it down to the size I wanted. I heated up a bolt with my torch and put it in here and just ran down where I had drawn some lines. And then um, I picked up, I think this pad was $9.98 or $10.98 at Lowe's. Um, and then I went to our local um, hobby store and picked up one inch webbing. I've left it long right now. Um, so I'll play with the length that I want for sure for hunting, but I bought like a nine foot, nine foot piece. So I just bought these two clasps, your basic clasp, or, uh, plastic clasps. And these are the ones that are basically self-adjusting on both sides. You could have bought, I could have bought one that had the regular plastic right here and then sewn one of these sides, but no need to do that at this point in time. So basically you're gonna put this right on the tree where you want it. You're gonna know approximately where your knees go. Bringing this around and then just basically clasping it together. Then you can tighten it. And tuck this stuff in if you want. Now let's get up there and see how it works. I'm going to hook back into my bridge. So we're sitting here nice and comfortable. Still got our same pegs over here where we can swing around the tree. 
when we're ready to relax on with this pad, you're basically just coming in. Your knees are on both sides. It's kind of nice too when it goes, if it was a smaller tree, your knees kind of grab onto this padding material, which is really nice. The other nice thing is, if you decide to sit sideways, right on your hip, keeps you cushioned against the tree on the side too, which is really nice. You can see how this goes, just basically a pad, your knees come in, you can adjust this up or down a little bit, depending on what you feel is most comfortable for you. Really nice sideways. Leg is hitting right there on the hip, which is really nice. All right, so I'm gonna show you another little nice thing about it. Say you find that tree or you find that area that maybe sitting up against a tree is the best thing. You take this thing off. It's a great cushion for your, for your platform. Really nice, it is very comfortable. Really a dense foam. Two purposes with this thing right here, so really nice. And cost me like 17 bucks to build, so half the price of the knee pads. So guys, I hope that helps and answers some questions about what I'm going to be using. Check out a bunch of other channels out there, different options others are using, but I really like this dense foam. It's really thick and uh, when you put your knees in there, you just go in there nice and slow and it doesn't really stay down. It really keeps you uh, supported really nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. And you know what? Stick around though, because we're gonna do the drawing for the Predator platform, guys. All right, let's go get the list. We'll come back and we'll do the random draw. Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, I hope you enjoyed that video of the pads or uh, knee pads for the hunting season, the upcoming season. I'm gonna go with the pad to start off because I like the idea of having support on my hip and also it doubles as a cushion for my seat if I wanna sit next to a tree. Um, but um, it is time to give away the tethered platform. Thanks again, Greg and Tethered for sending that to me. And somebody on this list, 114 people, left a comment in the comment section and let me know how they found the video and how what they thought of the video. So I double checked this when I got home from work. I went through every name and made sure I didn't miss anybody. So we've got to one through 114. So I've got that on my random, in, uh, random uh, app here. And we're going to see if I can push this button without looking at the phone so you guys can see it. Let's see what happens. All right, so number 6060 and 60 is Mark Kruger. Right there, 60, Mark Kruger. Congratulations, and I'm going to contact you through the uh, comment section on the video and get an address from you and send out that tethered platform. You guys have an awesome day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.